This is a fascinating video. I'm so excited. We are going through the math behind prize picks. So we are going through the math behind, you know, a growing in popularity daily fantasy company called prize picks. So the way that prize picks works is you have entries, right? And your entries have payouts. So you can see a three leg entry. Um, if we put $200 on it, you know, that's $200 on our entry to win $1,000 of profit. Now, what is so fascinating about this is it doesn't matter what three things I put into my entry. 200 to win 1,000. If I decide to take the under on, you know, instead, 200 to win 1,000 in my entry. So three picks in your entry is plus 400 odds, right? Um, if you have two picks in your entry, 200 to win 600, that's the exact same as plus 200 odds, right? $200 in your entry to win $600, 200 of which is your stake. So $400 in profit, that's just plus 200 odds. So I found this pretty fascinating article um, about prize picks, right? So two picks plus 200, three picks plus 400. And it doesn't even matter what your picks are, which is what's so wild. Um, four picks is plus 900. So what this means is we can kind of reverse engineer the odds on prize picks, which is exactly what I do in the spreadsheet. So two leg entry plus 200, three leg entry plus 400, four leg entry plus 900. So if you have a two leg entry, you have to win one third of your entries on prize picks to break even, right? If you lose two, you're down, let's say $200 if you're if you know the size of every entry is $100, so you're down $200 if you lose two, but then you're up $200 in profit if you win one. So you have to win one third um, of your entries to break even on prize picks. So this is where it gets very, very interesting and why you will now see prize picks odds on Odds Jam is if you have to win one third of your entries, right? Uh, or one third of your entries, if it's a two leg entry to break even, that means you have to win each leg in a two leg entry 57.74% of the time to break even, which is just this implied probability, the square root of it, right? So in other words, if we're winning each leg in our entry or each pick in our entry 57.74% of the time, then we'll be winning our two leg entry 33.33% of the time and we'll be breaking even on prize picks, right? So you have to win two legs in a two leg entry to win your entry. So 57.74% squared is 0.333%, which is what we see, or 33.33%, which is what we see right here. So this is where it gets especially interesting because we can essentially back out the odds that prize picks is giving you on these entries, right? So um, what we can see is you know, plus 200 odds implies we have to be winning 33.33% of our entries, which means we have to be winning each leg in our entry 57.74% of the time. So what we can do is throw that into um, an odds converter calculator, and you see that winning an entry 57.74% of the time implies minus 137 American odds. So essentially, prize picks is just giving you minus 137 odds on everything right on the over on the under it doesn't matter if you stake if you take Steph's over or his under on three pointers you are getting minus 137 odds right so even though you can only place two leg entries you can't place a one leg entry you are getting minus 137 odds implied odds on all of your picks and we can do the same thing for three leg entries and four leg entries. And you can see that the implied odds that prize picks is giving you kind of ranges from minus 137 to minus 141 to minus 128. So on odds jam, we're just assuming um, minus 137. So we're just assuming that you're placing a two leg entry. So essentially, if you can find two positive, you know, two, um, two legs on the odds jam positive EV page that are at minus 137 odds, then your prize picks entry will be positive EV. It will be mathematically profitable. And I know this may be a bit confusing. There's a lot of words. There's a lot of new words to me about prize picks. I've never heard of an entry before. But for example, we can see on prize picks, you know, Steph Curry, they have the line at 3.5 and the over is 
a much better decision, right? Minus 137, you're getting a lot of value. Pinnacle has this minus 153, FanDuel minus 160, and we are getting an implied price, implied odds of minus 137 from prize picks. So I actually have my prize picks um, sign up bonus, so I should probably add um, Curry's over in three pointers to my entry. It would make no sense to take the under. Right? It makes no sense to take a bet at minus 137 when you have Caesars over here giving you plus 130. Right, So this is where it gets fascinating right? because prize picks, it, it doesn't affect your payout if you take the over or the under. Right, It literally doesn't affect my payout, but the over is clearly where the value is on prize picks, You know, just looking at odds. Um, so we definitely want to take the over on Curry. So what I can do, because I have my prize picks $100 sign-up bonus, is I can look for two legs. Um, I can use the positive EV tool as well, just to look for two legs um, on prize picks for my entry that look pretty great. So I'll see if anything from prize picks comes up. If not, because it's a sign-up um, bonus, what I'll do is I'll just go to the Heat Celtics game tomorrow, and I'll look for, you know, Something I like on prize picks, where prize picks is giving me the best implied price. So here, absolutely not. I don't want to touch BAM points with a you know 10-foot pole. No thank you. But maybe we try rebounds or a market that's a little more niche and see if we can find some value on prize picks to put into our entry. So Brown over six um, rebounds, maybe a little bit of value. You know, you can see here, most people are setting the line at six and a half. So Maybe there's a touch of value there, but we can continue to scroll through and just look for where are we getting the best implied odds on prize picks. So we got Max Struess um, under four, PJ Tucker over five. So we can kind of look through, and overall it's just, I mean, this is fascinating to me that we now have a fantasy company on Odds Jam. So prize picks is really cool. You know, it's a little late in the day today, and um, they haven't, Jalen Brown over three and a half assists. Minus 137, implied price, implied odds on prize picks. I mean, you know, you can see the value here. Most of the books are setting it at, you know, roughly minus 150, somewhere in the middle. We're getting minus 137, implied price on prize picks. So what we can do is we can go over to prize picks, and then I want to go to rebounds, and I want to go to Jalen Brown. Where are you, buddy? So Jalen Brown, and he's at, no, I want assists. I apologize. So in my entry, entry, such an interesting, such an interesting word. So I want Jalen Brown. So we got stuff over 3.5 threes in my entry. And then I also want to add Jalen Brown over three and a half assists. So I'll add that into my entry. And then I have my $100 promo. So what I can do is I can place $100 to win 300. So that's plus 200 odds, right? Because this $300 includes my stake of $100, $200 of profit. That's just plus 200 odds. So I'm going to place my entry. Boom, su successfully submitted my entry. So what we can do now is we can go through the math. Um, so I have a two-leg prize picks entry, entry, so plus 200. And we have Curry, you know, so we have two picks in our entry. So we have Curry over three and a half threes. And then we have Jalen Brown over three and a half assists. So then what I can do is I can go here and I can say, okay, the odd sham perfect line pinnacle is at minus 148. And I can remove the VIG from this to get our estimated win probability for this bet using the sharpest bookmaker out there. So I can go here and then I can go to a no VIG odds calculator and I can put in um, pins market minus 148 plus 111 minus 148 plus 111 implies a win percentage of 55.74 percent or 55.74 percent so 0.5574 percent and then we have curry over on threes so let's go back to the warriors game and let's look at the market from the sharpest from the sharpest bookmaker out there so we'll go here and then we'll go to player threes and then we want to check out what prize picks got going, has going on. So definitely some value if you're placing prize picks entries and going with Curry over three and a half um, threes tonight. You know, just look at the odd, look at the actual odds on other sports books compared to prize picks implied odds. Because on prize picks you can only, you know, you can't place a one pick entry, right? It's two, three, four, or five. So minus one thirty-seven. 
and pin is minus 153 plus 136. So minus 153 plus 116, I actually think was the number, plus 116. So the win probability of our bet is 56.64%, and the zero vig line is minus 130.62. Again, if you have questions about this, I feel like it's super confusing. Feel free to comment on this video or sign up for a tutorial with us. There will be a link, you know, a bunch of Calendly links. There's a form you want to personalize tutorial. You know, you, you can sign up for that, ask whatever questions you have. We have all the ex experts um, in terms of making money um, in, in fantasy um, as well as betting. So here's the implied win probabilities for both our bets. Um, we put down $100 on our entry to win $200 a profit. And the implied win probability for our entry is this number times this number. So our entry is 31.57% to hit, and we put $100 on it, which means the EV of our entry, EV of entry, is this. So 31.57% of the time, we're winning $200, boom. And then the other, you know, the rest of the time we're losing, so one minus our win probability, we're losing our stake of $100. So this two pick entry is negative EV. It's bad by 5%, right? But prize picks has an $100 deposit match that I just claimed. So regardless, I'm going to be making money on prize picks um, because that was, a you know, promo funds. So overall, pretty fascinating math behind prize picks, implied odds, right? You can back it out for a two leg entry, three leg, four leg entry. And basically, if you can find two positive EV picks to put in your entry, you know, on odds jam, then that is absolutely um, an entry you want to put down. Granted, there's so much juice on prize picks, minus 137, minus 137, like that's a lot of juice. If we go to a VIG calculator right here, you can see that the average hold on a prize picks market is 15.61%. Most sports books are at 5%. Um, so a lot of VIG baked into these markets, which is pretty fascinating as well. But anyways, that's how prize picks works. That's how you use Odd Sham to make money on prize picks. Let's make some money on prize picks.